now. <laughs> it takes 15 minutes to read the title of the show, <laughs> which is pretty good, I might yeah. add. But I, I brought in some, some seafood uh, a little while ago, and it, it sprung a leak, and it's all over my car. It's all over my fine, just back from the cleaner's outfit, and it is all over everything I'm fixing today. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, I, Laban Johnson, am here to tell you that my partner, Larry Blatt, we all knew that there was something fishy about him, but now we can prove it by the old sniff test. Six cats followed me down the hall. It's true. <laughs> That we, being that we're, we have a seaside motif going today, I want to show you this extraordinary piece which was sent in to us by Miss Dorothea Maria, one of our finest friends. She is the president of the Laban and Larry fan and club. This is a seashell rooster. <laughs> it is just absolutely incredible. All in made every out of seashells. Way. It really is. And if you hold this up to your ear, <laughs> you'll get an you earful hear the of something house. unpleasant. <laughs> you can hear the hen house. Isn't that nice? Uh -huh. We thought, and then of course uh, this has all been added uh, by our lovely assistant, uh, the very Doris lovely Ford, Doris Ford, who has uh, brought out some fine pieces of candy, including these things that taste like some kind of cough benilin, well, I think, cough well, medicine, wait a minute. covered in chocolate. What? what? Something about the Titanic's come back up oh, again. Oh my God! Just I put that down. Anyway. Let's get to the mail. Kate Underwood, where is she from? Bristol, Virginia has written in and wants all of the old recipes from previous shows. Oh boy. Well Kate, we love you honey, but that is utterly impossible. But no, you could not. buy our cookbook and That's that does right. have all of the recipes for the first eight years of the show. Up until about 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Dear Larry and Laban, I try to catch your television show every week. A lot of people have been catching it. I think yours is one of the best cooking shows on TV. I'd like to have the recipe from show blah, 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 corn pudding and yet to da, da, da. Thank you so very much, Mrs. Uh, Edith Sawyers, I believe it is. I patronize your something on, it's one of my favorite stores. Oh, bless your heart. Thank you, a person that, that just looks after us and our uh -huh. sponsors. We appreciate that. To whomever reads these things, a couple of the boys and I were passing through your town to Miami from New York and we caught your show. At first, we were very pleased to see a show with Italian dishes until the closing credits when you implied that all Italian Americans were dishwashers. Italian Americans can go very far in the world, and I intend to report you to the Mutual Association for Italian Americans, better known as the Mafia, <laughs> M-A-F-I-A. <laughs> And since I head this organization, I usually get my way. The plan has been made to kidnap you and make you cook for the family. It's an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> However, before we said good men to come and take you for a ride, I'm ordering the recipes for this show to make sure they're worth the trouble. <laughs> You're worth the trouble. Oh, and have a nice day. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we'll get that's 22 from... letters complaining about that letter. Yeah. Fellows, send one of the recipes you hatched last Saturday, <laughs> November 14th. No, this one. Yeah. Uh, that's no, no, from Larry. Sylvia. Not, not, no, no, wait. You grew up on a farm. Yeah, that's a Roosters rooster. don't, don't hatch. hatch eggs. Thank you very much. Well, we thanks, appreciate folks. all your letters. We appreciate it. Let's go do these seafood recipes. I can almost hardly wait. Oh, I know. I know, you know, I just feel like, you know, you've been right to the sea, Bly. You can smell the sea in what here. What you have here is your, your basic saucepan and a whole lot of other things. I'm going to do a, a pepper shrimp. Oh. There you are. A pepper shrimp pepper, is what I'm going to do. A lot of pepper on it? And what I got to do is I got to start out by squeezing a large limon into this pot. And then what I'm going to do is, now I think I'm going to do this first. Before I squeeze it, I'm going to take just a couple of strips just right off the outside of it. That's what I'm going to do first because we're going to need some of these strips. Uh, in this recipe. So let me do that first. Try not to get too much of that white stuff underneath of it because it's real bitter and it's just awful. I'm gonna just take a couple. I'm going to thin strips. I don't consider those thin strips, but maybe I can thin them down here in a couple of minutes with my knife. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut this in two. We're going to squeeze that entire lemon in there and then we'll start adding some other things to it. This should be a wonderful recipe, but then what can you do wrong with shrimp? Not much, I don't think. So I'm going to take that off. That's enough. Now, just cut that thing in half and squeeze that into the saucé pan. 
Whoops, well, there go the seeds. That's the way it goes. These little handy dandy ones, like I'm using right here, is a little difficult to catch the seeds on. One whole lemon, put that in there. And then we're gonna follow that up with uh, uh, the yellow part of the lemon rind cut in strips, which I'm gonna cut a little bit, and then we're gonna add some vinegar, about a third of a cup or something like that. And that's all I'm gonna do for right now, oh. because I'm gonna have to start cutting and chopping here in a couple of minutes. Once we get this thing going, it really will not take an awful long time to, to get it completed. Laban. Well, thank you, Larry. I just discovered a mistake here in the recipe. Well, what's, well. What else is new? Uh, it, you have to uh, cut up an, a little onion in this dish, and I left it out of the, the ingredients. That's the way it goes. Can't have them all, can you? I sure hope that Miss Doris uh, uh, made a correction on, on uh, that recipe a couple of weeks ago where we, where we called for a third of a cup of uh, cinnamon or something. I don't know what it is, but anyway, uh -huh. I need a spoon uh, very, very badly. Oh, well, you can have one. Uh, just in the worst possible, well, I guess I could use that. I, I need to get these out of here. Now, Larry, over here in my well, frying pan, I'm going to put that, three tablespoons of olive oil and it always pays with olive oil to get a good one and you know olive oil for you health fans out there and there are a lot of you out there because you keep saying we're well, going to do some health recipes any recipe with olive oil in it is good for you because it is a mono saturated oil uh, unsaturated oil and it, it helps eat up the bad cholesterol so olive oil is good for you that's recent. They used to say it wasn't any good. Now you want to saute. I wish they make up their minds. You want to saute a small chopped onion in about three tablespoons full of olive oil, and the zest of a lemon. And I'm going to just what I I've got a little zester at home, but most people wouldn't have that. So the, just use a a vegetable peeler on your lemon. I thought that was illegal to have a little zester at home. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. She's been my little zester ever since she was born. <laughs> <laughs> Quote to be my little zester. <laughs> hey, anyway, just how thin is these strips supposed to be? What? These oh, strips. Oh, how you're thin doing are a real they? good job on that. Well, if we get them too thin, aren't they going to like disappear and we'll accidentally eat them while no, we're eating this no, dish? No, 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 no. That'd be all right. Hmm. And uh, I've got my lemon peel here on the. I'm chopping and blocking. I'm just going to chop it up real good with this fine knife. And this works just as good as a little machine would. And this has got to be chopped up minced real fine here. I'm so proud of my knife technique. It's getting so much better. I'm not as good as Jeff Smith, but then I don't have to tell you about it. <laughs> I heard that out there. All right, and your, your, well, let's see. Now we gotta have a little bit of garlic here. I'm gonna let that, the oil. Why do they put stuff in packages that are so hard to get into? It's beyond me. I gotta Close. have a couple of cloves of garlic minced, if I can get to it. While you're doing that, let's right. let me show you real quickly him. I have added in there those little thin strips of uh, lemon peel, and there's an entire, the juice of an entire lemon in there. And now what I'm gonna do is add about a third of a cup of what is called flavored vinegar. And I just picked one, you can. I mean, you may have a favorite. Because this is uh, to do with fr uh, uh, shrimp, I got some garlic flavored wine vinegar. I thought that was real nice and put in a, well that sure is a, Piddly little amount, but you know, that's so you don't accidentally do it and get a big wad of it you don't want. And just go on ahead and I'll be here until reruns on this. Well, that's all right. Well, I you may be here that long anyway. Just uh, How much you got to have? Just dribble it in well, there, you ladies could, and gentlemen. You could pull that little plastic Mr. thing out with oh, your fingers. Oh, I don't want to because I'm going to use it at home later on at the station's expense. I'm not going to oh. ruin a good thing. <laughs> Thank you. I'm no fool. I've been to this program before. There you go. Now, we're gonna start heating that up just a little bit, just a little. And while you're heating it, and then I'll shut up and let Dr. J get on with his misery over there. While you're doing that, now we're gonna start chopping up these uh, beautiful, beautiful 
green, red, and yellow peppers. And I want you to see this. This is as big as my head. Well, not quite, but almost. And just big as head, pretty and rosy head. as my cheeks. Isn't that pretty? That, that really, that's almost a piece of art, isn't it? Anyway, I've got, uh, we've got uh, green ones. Forgot my colors there for a minute. Red ones and yellow ones. We've got to chop them all up right now. So that's going to take a while. And while I'm going through all that, we'll go back to Johnson and see if he's doing anything worthy of this program. Yes. Right now, I have now chopped up two cloves of garlic and put in the pan with a little small onion. Ooh, that smell And good. I'm going to have some parsley, and I need, oh, a half a cup of chopped. So let me just... Ooh. Somebody's been sharpening up on these knives. Harold been in touch with these knives recently? Well, I want to tell you, these Fords keep us going. I sort of like having a Ford in my life. Oh, give me a break. And don't give me a free one. All right. No, these things are real sharp. They're doing very, very well. I'm afraid I'm going to remove knuckle number three here if I'm not careful what I'm doing. But I am just. Well, that's chopping all right. On. If you do, you can replace it with the one on your head. <laughs> you know, Laban. Yes, Larry. <laughs> I believe that as each week goes by, you get just a little ruder. <laughs> Now, you throw a half a cup of chopped parsley over here in this mixture with all of this mess here. It looks real good. Now we're going to have to add... You the, know there are people whose humor only comes out in a negative sort of way. Uh-huh, that's Don't me. you be one of those, Mr. Johnson. Why? Why not? Because it doesn't uh, look good on you. Oh, shoot. We'll now, just continue along. I've got all of my onions, garlic, and parsley, and lemon zest. Now, I'm going to juice this lemon for a fare thee well. Oh, there's a nasty spot on this thing. It's a good idea to look them over sometimes. Juice that thing. Woo! Sure is a lot of seeds in this baby. Sure is a lot of chopping on this baby. Oh, my. Now, you got to put all your lemon juice in here, but not your seeds, so I'll try to get on back. I think I better goose this up a little bit, and we'll be here into the next show, which we're probably going to be here anyway, but that's, you know, I ought to finish this one before I start the next show. All right, now I've added my lemon juice in here with this fine mixture, and i got to add some wine. Uh huh. -huh. Well, shoot, I can't even get it open. Now I'm moving on to the yellow one. To the what? For those of you who got real tired of the green pepper, I'm going oh, on to the yellow one. Now I'm getting ready oh, to good. chop it into little bitty pieces. Holy real moly, I just remembered I've got to put the uh, spaghetti in here that's going to be fit to eat. Where is it? Here it is. <laughs> Where is that sizer? Oh, yeah, we have a new invention. A oh, new that's all right. Spaghetti that's all right. sizer. Well, that's Don't all right. Don't worry about it. Don't we'll worry, just approximate you. it the way we used to do before we had a big expense account on the program here and could afford a spaghetti sizer. Right. Now, the spaghetti is cooking. You know, I've never used one sauces. of those at home. Have oh, you? yes, I have. They're wonderful. Do you really? Mm -hmm. I just kind of guesstimate on it. And I'm not too bad at guesstimating either, really. Not bad. If I must say so myself, and I must because no one else is going to. Well, I'm continuing on with this yellow one here, and we're starting to just get things boiling on top of the stove. Now, I'm bit. going to add a cup or a half a cup. How much? Half a cup of white wine. How much? A half a cup of white wine in there into my sauce and it's just doing real good. Oh me, chop and chop. Drizzle this around here just a tad. And the final thing, I gotta have a can of Nadora, is I got a can of baby clams and this. Oh no. Yeah. How terrible. And no, they'll pay clams. for this. It's terrible. Gee whiz, Larry. Ooh, the uh, <laughs> oh, Doris can't find the cat up there. Oh, this is going to be real good clam sauce with... <laughs> now Lehman's going to attempt this open his can with his bare lips. 
Here we go. <laughs> oh, no. Nothing like planning, and that's nothing like planning. Well, what can you do? You know, I mean, sometimes we get on the air, boys and girls. Oh, it's too late now. Why is it too, oh, I guess it is, isn't it? <laughs> of course, you could open it from the bottom if you wanted to. Just drain it out and turn it over. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> now I'm going to add this, maybe, this <laughs> can of clams. Come on out of that. Come out. Come out. Come out, I say. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what a oh, mess. Oh, my, 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 my. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to let it scare me that we only have 10 minutes in this program and I'm not even a quarter of a way finished with this recipe. Well, I'm going to be finished here if I can get the clams out. <laughs> I find myself, <laughs> get the clams out. <laughs> give, give me a fork. Give me that. Oh, wait, they're coming out. They're coming out. I told you. It's those little babies. <laughs> They don't want to mess with it. Oh, Lord. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm adding the red peppers in with the green and the yellow peppers, and that's all just going along real well there on top of the stove, I'm telling you. And now I'm getting ready to put an onion in there, which I should have done about 15 minutes ago, but I forgot to, and there's only one of me and 7,000 of you. So I'm going to chop that up now. Put that in there. And that's all I'm going to do for a while. Isn't that pretty? That's a lovely dish because it's got all those different colors in there. Lovely. If your TV is tuned, oh Lord, I have chopped up. Look at this, Johnson. I accidentally turned the thing over and chopped it up with the, the thing still oh, on it. Oh, no. I wish I'd have left that in oh, there and he'd have got unpleasant. that thing. That would have been as bad as that time I fed you that rubber stopper from out of the Hamilton Beach or whatever it was. Well, I'm chopping up some onions now. I'm just going to rough cut them. Boy, I'm telling you, we're getting rougher all the time here because I'm running out of time. I'm trying to get my water hot over here again. All right, that goes in there too. This is going to be a wonderful raw dish. <laughs> it really is. One of the best we've ever made up down here. So step that up a little. Now, what you do at this point is we're going to add some shrimp. And I just got some of these old things from out of a can. And I'm going to stick them in there too. And we're going to cover that. All of those shrimp in there, we're going to cover that up. Now, while that is covered, I'll put a little seasoning in there. I got me a little, uh, this is, uh, I think, just a little Old Bay seasoning, which is kind of nice. And sprinkle some of that down in there, too. All right, let's put a little of that in there. A little, keep going. Keep on putting it in there until it hurts. All right, put that in there. Cover that stuff up. Now, while that is covered, tightly and hotly, we're going to take two um, head, uh, ears, heads, ears of corn. And I'm going to shuck two them. Heads of <laughs> two heads of corn are, are better, better than, than none. <laughs> and, and this is just ordinary old yellow corn because yellow corn is a lot cheaper than the white, uh, what's that stuff, that queen stuff? What's it called? Silver queen. Silver queen. Silver, Silver queen. queen. I thought it was a Queen Elizabeth corn, but that's right. Silver queen. It's a lot cheaper. So get the yellow corn if you want to save a little money on that. And what I'm going to do here in a second, I do not have that fancy little piece of equipment that Johnson has that I like so much that you just rake it around on there and just ream that stuff off of there. Uh, so I'm just going to take an ordinary knife down the, down the side of it. What was I that? Went down there and joined a lot of other things. It's <laughs> been down there for a long time. And we're just going to take this now and, and, and just kind of... Including uh, former see, staff members. And just kind of take that right off of there like that, all right? Oh, yeah, there are a lot of former staff members down there. Excuse me, I've tried to do this for the camera angle, and it's going everywhere. It's best you don't see it. So anyway, <laughs> two of, it's not a pretty sight. Do you want to see the recipes, or are you finished with yours, Johnson? Oh, or I'm what, finished. Uh, where yeah, are we, we on this we show? We can see the recipes. Let's see the recipes. <clears throat> oh, the white clam sauce. I see the juice of a lemon, the zest of a lemon, a small onion, that's not on there, but remember to put it in. A half a cup of white wine, <laughs> three tablespoons of olive oil, a half a cup of chopped parsley, two or three cloves of, of garlic minced, a uh, 12 ounce uh, ch uh, can of chopped clams, and their broth. Not to mention the pasta that you put over it one time, baby. Hey, pepper, shrimp, a pound of medium. Shrimp, peeled, deveined, or just go ahead and get those packaged things. Save yourself a lot of time. A lemon. Medium onion chopped, one each of red, green, yellow peppers chopped. 
and two ears of corn with the kernels removed, which I'm doing right now. Discard the cobs. I thought that was a real neat thing. Flavored vinegar and optional seafood seasoning, which we put in. Now I'm going to put this corn in here too. Should have been in there a long time ago, but that's the way it goes. We're just going to have to pick through this meal as best we can and see if we can find anything that's cooked. <laughs> that's going in there. I could have prepared it in advance, but nah, it takes the venture out of it. Now we're going to take that around in there a little bit. You reckon that's got enough seasoning in it? I don't know. I'm going to put a little more in there. I'm just real worried about it. Okay, now I'm worried about my pasta. I'm finished, I'm happy to say. You're worried about your pasta? Yeah. <laughs> I don't I know for some was, reason this water just won't better. <laughs> We may have to leave this stuff to next week and show everybody. I, I, this may be one of those rare programs where we never get to taste anything. But I'll tell you one thing, you know it's good. You know well, it we, is. We have it every would reason have to, to be if it were on this program. <laughs> I well, I think my we ought to get this switch like to come in at shrimp. this point. All right. And uh, let's see what uh, some of our highly intelligent, sweet, wonderful, gentle, kind viewers <laughs> have got to say. Uh, Boy, that was close. Wow. Come here, honey. That was a close yeah. one. You're so ugly. Get done. <laughs> there she goes. Well, dear men, Barbara says that I am nuts because I want to put relish on everything from hot dogs to lamb chops. Could you guys make some relishes? Barbara, by the way, is my pet parrot. We talk together quite often. Please don't read this letter on the air, but... Oh, because Norma, my wife, is very jealous of her. Uh oh And it's signed Big Bill Avian of Bluebird, New Mexico. Wow, son. Well, Big Bill, uh, next week we'll do relishes, and Ma we'll probably still be eating this mess. Maybe. <laughs> uh, you know, that stuff still looks a little stiff laying in there. Well, no, it's limp. Let's, let's give her a try here on this. Give her old sling up on the old thing there and see what she does. I had a kid tell me the other day that he loves let's this part see. of the show. It ain't done. <laughs> I think it went on my back. It ricocheted right. It is. It's stuck across your fanny. <laughs> <laughs> what do we do now? What? I said, what do we do now? Punt. <laughs> well, I'll tell you one thing. What? We're not going to eat this. <laughs> if you think I be that stuff raw, you're crazy. Well, the, the well, um, it's getting there. In a little while, it'll be on. If this one it just had... Could we just have like 15 more minutes? <laughs> and look, this, now this sauce, this beautiful clam sauce is red. This white clam sauce is well, let's ready. Taste, let's just it's taste done the clam sauce. To a turn, oh Lord, now everybody in, in America will sauce. write in. They're oh, upset. Oh, I don't care. We're the ones we fixed it for ourselves, but I can't put my lips on it. The heck with it. The heck with it. <laughs> no, that's good. It's nice. It's really excellent. It really is. Great sauce. It'd be even better over the pasta. Mm, mm, <laughs> mm, 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 mm. It sure would. Real tangy. Real you know. zesty. And now, <laughs> I'm going to try one of these. Shrimp, shrimp are done. I mean, they're pre-cooked shrimp. Well, I'm going to try some of this stuff. I think it's it's done except for the corn. And hey, you can eat corn raw, ladies and gentlemen. It won't hurt you. Can. you. They do it on the Victory Garden. All Everything the else in there is done except for the corn. Mmm, mm. that's right, good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat the whole thing. I kind of like it. It is. Well, it's, real it's not good. bad. I just wish we'd had more time. Mm -mm -mm. Why does this always have to happen to us? Can you believe that here we are and we can't even go to the dining room and eat? But my pasta is really al dente. You might break a tooth on that. Yeah, it One is your al dente. Canines. All right, I'm gonna stay all away from it what I'm going to do. Well, this sh shrimp thing is pretty good. If it just had a little bit more time, we'd be all right. Well, listen, we got to go. We've had such a good time. Oh, Goodbye. we have. Mm.